Welcome to the homework for lesson 29. This is module four for grade one. Write your name here first. By the time you're done, you're never gonna remember to come back and do it later. So get it done now. Solve quick using quick 10 drawings, number bonds, or the arrow way. This is a lot like the recent homework assignments. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this and I'm gonna do different ways for different ones, just depending on the strategy that makes the most sense to me. Other strategies might make more sense to you. If you're a big fan of quick 10 drawings, fine. Do every single one with quick 10s. That's okay. Or number bonds. you got a strategy you really like, keep using it. Arrowway is great too. If you're just good at the mental math, that's a great way to practice how to write down your mental math. But I really encourage you to use all of the different strategies and think about what the numbers are and which one will probably work better. So 13 plus 15. I see that looking at the ones digits, the three and the five, that's going to make an eight. So that's going to be pretty easy to work with. Just 10 and three. And this way I can add three to the 15. And then just add 10 to the 18 for 28. And here we have another one that's like that, where we have a 6 and a 2. That's going to add, that's going to be less than 10. So let's break up the 12, 10 and 2. Let's say 26 plus 2, 28, and then 28 plus the 10, 38. Same thing I'm seeing here. So let's take that 16 and make it a 10 and a 6. Uh, and then 23 plus 6 equals, now you might see 3 plus 6, that's 9, so it's 29. All right, we've got 3 and that 6. And then add 10. 29 plus 10 equals 39. 17 plus 16. Now these two numbers, 7 and 6, they're going to add up to more than 10. So I would suggest for this one, arrow away or try making the next 10. Uh, to, you know, taking 3 out of that 16, but I'm going to do this the arrow away. And I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I know 7 plus 6. That's 13. And now I've added the ones together and now I just have to add the two tens. Thirty-three. Fourteen plus seventeen. These ones digits are going to add up to more than ten. So I'm going to use the same arrowway strategy, or maybe I can do the uh, four plus 7, if you know that's 11, and now we just add the two tens. Thirty-one. And here we have 7 and 2, that's going to add up to 9, that's less than 10, so it's, this is going to be pretty easy to make this a 10, 2. 27 plus 2, 29 and 29 plus 10, 39. And I said I haven't done any quick 10 drawings. Here's a good example right here 15 plus 18. So, oops, usually start out with dots instead of X's. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so the 18 is going to be eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, and a 10. So here I have three tens plus three ones, 33. 18 plus 16, I could do that. You know, I could do that. I see that 8 and 6, that's 14. So I'm thinking that that's, well, but that 18, actually, I could do this too. 18 is a good number to make the next 10 for because it's close enough. It's almost 20. So let's try this one. 2 and 14. So now we have 18 plus 2, which will make the 20. And now it's 20 plus 14. And now adding two tens to that 14 is really easy because it's just three tens now and still four ones, 34. And just more of the same. 17 plus 12, that 2 and the 7, that's going to be 9. So that's less than 10. So this strategy is going to be really, it's going to be easy enough. Add the 2 or the 10 first. It really doesn't matter for this one. And right here we've got 21 and 17. And we could draw this in quick tens. Just because we I haven't done one of those on, the, on this page yet. 1, 2, there's 21. Now I need 7 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a 10. So I know that that's 7 x's and one more makes 8. So that's 3 tens, 30, plus 8 ones, 30. Eight. And I'm looking at seven and five. That makes that's gonna make uh twelve, that's more than ten, so this is gonna be one where you could just draw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now for the fifteen I need five X's. Three of them are going to go in this 10 stick because I need three more to finish a 10 from 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a 10 makes 15. So here I have three 10s and two 1s. 30 plus 2 equals 32. 31 plus 2 equals 27 and 13. This is a good... Um, this would be a good one you can either do with a number bond or arrow way would work really well for this one uh, because you can see that seven and three and hopefully you recognize those partners to 10. So why don't I do this? 27 plus the three, 30 plus the 10, 40. There. And now looking at this one, just looking at the ones digits at 3 plus 4. So let's try 10 and 4. 23 plus 4 equals 27. And now add 10 more to the 27. 37. 18 plus 15. Well, that 18 is almost 20. So let's take 2 out of that 17. And 2 less than 17 is 15. So we're making... This is like making the next 10 to add. 18. We're going to add the 2 first. That makes 20. And then we can add the 20 and the 15. 35. 18 plus 11, we could use the same strategy, right? Because 18 just needs two more to be 20. But we also have some pretty easy ones to work with at 8 plus 1. So 10 and 1. Twenty-nine, and here we have eighteen plus eighteen. 
let's make this 2 and 2 less than 18 is 16. 18 plus 2, 20, and now 20 plus 16. So we're adding two tens to the 16, because 20 is two tens. That makes it 30 and 6, 36 